Hello, this is Dr. Gay. This is a patient who has a tear of their triangular fiber cartilage. And so the triangular fiber cartilage is called the TFCC for short, and it's a little horizontal band of cartilage over here in the wrist. So this is the radius part of the wrist, distal forearm ends right here, and this is the ulna. So the radius and ulna are together here, and they come together at a little joint, and this is called the distal radio ulnar joint. So right here is where they come together. Normally there should be no fluid in that, but in this patient there's a little white band and the white band represent, represents a little bit of fluid. So we know that something is up just on this view right here, a little fluid in the distal radio ulnar joint. Now these are all the carpal bones. Lots of bones there in the wrist, kind of daunting anatomy. So we won't go over there, but we'll stay right over here with the distal ulna. So the ulna has a little thing in the end called the styloid. And the styloid has a little bony protuberance here and the styloid is fractured. Instead of being nice and smooth, it's fractured and displaced upwards a little bit. So this little piece right here is part of that ulnar styloid. Now this is that triangular fiber cartilage, that cartilaginous ring, I'm sorry, the cartilaginous band right here. It attaches normally to the radius, you can see it attaching there, and it has something called the dorsal band and volar band in there uh, along the, the palmer and the dorsal sides, kind of the front and back of it. If we look through the central part, it looks good. If we go to the palmer and dorsal bands, everything looks good. When it attached to the radius, it looks good. But if it comes over here to the lateral side, now we see that there is a problem. Over here, we know that there's a fracture of that ulnar styloid, and we should see that triangular fiber cartilage more horizontal and coming down and attaching in two more places. It should attach right into this little cup over here. This is called the fovea. And you see this wide gap between the TFCC and that foveal attachment. And also we should see it attached to this ulnar styloid. And maybe there's a little fragment that comes across here, attaches to that fractured styloid, but it looks like it's at least partially torn. And also we see that fluid comes out of the wrist and goes down underneath through into the distal radial ulnar joint. So again, this is a tear of the ulnar attachments of the triangular fiber cartilage, specifically involving the fovea, and styloid attachments, and again, fluid can track around through this tear, also around this fractured styloid underneath here, and go into the uh, distal radial ulnar joint. Now we have another view of the same thing. The bones look a little funny on here, but it shows the triangular fiber cartilage uh, a little bit differently. So this is the TFCC going along horizontally. Here's that fluid in the distal radial ulnar joint, and now you can really see this ulnar styloid that's fractured should be coming, it should be continuous with this part of the bone, but it's fractured upwards and inward a little bit, and there's a little bit of fluid undercutting, it's elevated right off, and we're looking for the triangular fiber cartilage attachments to come over here and touch, but I don't even see them at all. And again, there's a wide gap between the fovea, which is down in this area, and this triangular fiber cartilage. So that's a triangular fiber cartilage tear, and thank you very much.